My name is Aaron Merrill, and today I'm going to be presenting on the implications that the Milgram experiment um, has in, in business and business ethics and accounting. As an introduction, Stanley Milgram was an American psychologist who was most famous for the Milgram experiment, which was conducted in the 1960s, where participants willfully followed orders to deliver strong, potentially lethal electrical shocks to another person. In, uh, in one version of this experiment, 90% of the participants proceeded to the end of the experiment. In other words, you know, gave the full electrical shock to the participants that were involved. And this experiment um, is one of the most important social psycho psych psychology experiments of all time because of the implications that it has on, on human behavior and uh, obedience to authority figures. And it provides a framework for considering why people make certain decisions when an authority figure is involved. And understanding our human nature can help us to avoid negative consequences of making these poor decisions. Some of the factors um, influencing the decision-making process include a lack of resources. Milgram said that most persons in a stressful situation can lack the resources to reject the instructions of a, a recognized authority. And that happens for two reasons. First of all, um, they defer responsibility to higher authorities. In other words, they don't take actions for their responsibilities or their choices. And second of all, they see themselves as instrument of another's wishes. Uh, other factors influencing the decision-making process include uh, actions within an organizational content. And Milgram said that these actions should be treated differently than other actions for two reasons. First of all, agenic shift, which is a detachment from the situation, or again, a deferral of responsibility to another person or a higher authority and system, systematic factors, or the erosion of agency. Um, the erosion of agency uh, can happen especially when people are, are very far distance from the end result of their actions or their, or their choices. And when these people don't see the end result of their choices, at times they're more, will, more they have the propensity to make poor, more poor choices or more unethical choices. And this can lead to the erosion of, of agency. One thing that we can do to avoid the negative consequences of, of these poor actions and, and poor choices is holding res individuals morally responsible. At the end of Milgram's experiments, he never did say whether or not the people involved in the experiments should be held ethically responsible for their choices. Uh, but when participants were interviewed after the interview after the experiment, they did admit that they knew what they were doing was ethically wrong. And for this reason, since these people understood that what they were doing was ethically wrong, they should um, be held responsible for their actions, as should people in the business world who make poor decisions, um, just because they they displace or defer the responsibility for these choices to a higher authority or another person doesn't make them less responsible for their choices. And um, one, one method suggested to improve moral judgment is raising one's level of autonomic cognitive moral development. And to do that, we can um, take moral action. And there are certain steps that we can do to take moral action. First of all, we can recognize the moral issue, or we can interpret the situation and identify the moral problem. Second of all, we can make the moral judgment or we can figure out what must be done and devise a plan of action. Then we can establish moral intent or evaluate how courses, how a course of action can serve moral values of, of, an individual, of the individual person. And finally, we can execute and implement the moral plan of action. And through doing this, um, we're analyzing or we're thinking about um, morals and ethics. And this reflection on morals and ethics through the decision-making process is very important because it it allows us to to take the time to think about what's what matters most in this through this decision making process. And in conclusion, um, reflections on moral ethics, morals and ethics, is necessary to to make um, good decisions and, and ethical decisions. Understanding human nature helps us to avoid negative consequences of of decisions made um, through pressure of of an authority figure. And having knowledge about human nature helps us understand moral pressures and helps us withstand moral pressures um, now and in the future.